Okay, I got a request and I'm really excited. I'm glad you requested this. This is a request from, I might pronounce this wrong, Hansika, Hansika. Very beautiful name. Um, sorry if I pronounce that wrong, but it's gorgeous. Um, anyways, unique, love it. So anyways, just like Cedric, he is unique and awesome too. All right, so we're gonna get started on um, a Cedric Diggory from Harry Potter. And we're gonna start with his head. So we're gonna have a circle. We're gonna start with a circle shape. Actually, let's just start with the dome part. So we're gonna start up here with the dome. But he's got a very strong jawline. So we're just going to bring it, bring it in. And then we'll bring this down and then we're just gonna bring it in. So he's got that nice sharp jawline. That looks awesome. So. And, and when I do the crossbars, do it lightly. I'm doing it a little darker so you guys can see, but of course we're gonna be erasing in, so you don't want it too dark. Okay, so we're gonna do his eyes. It's kind of like, kind of crookedy. Since he's still more of a kid, we're gonna be putting the eyes underneath the crossbar. So, and his eyes are a bit large, which is awesome, so we have the eye and it's gonna come down just a little bit underneath and then he's kind of looking up so there's his eye and we'll do the same thing on this side but underneath and his eye awesome and then right here between here and here just put a like a jelly bean so we know where his nose is so now we're gonna erase the t-bar so we can put his rest of his details in I'll race it more once we do the Sharpie. So for his nose to give it more detail, so just round, but we're gonna make it kind of like come down a little bit like that. And he's gonna have like a line here. And for his mouth, it's just simple. We're just gonna be doing a line. He's serious right now. Just like a line across. And on the top of his eye, we're gonna put his little crease line in here. And over here, we'll have a crease line up here. Okay, so inside there, we want to put the shiny and the pupil. Shiny and pupil. He's got amazing eyebrows, nice and thick. So we're going to have a slight arch. Bring it up here. Since he's a guy, we're just going to be making it more manly. Thick, and I put an extra piece right there for his hair. All right, so this side, same thing, slightly up like this. Sharp here and then come down and then an extra piece. And we want this actually, we want to go all the way to the side because he's looking over the side barely. Mostly head on, but barely, okay? Super drop. So his ear, we're not gonna see all of the ear, but bring it over right on the side of his eye. We're gonna cover up some of it with his hair. And then over here, we can see a little bit of that ear. Super. So on this line, because this is where the hairline's gonna be, I want you to bring it down He's got like a little side swoop, another swoop, and then bring it over. So this side is gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna follow this and then put a hair in here. And this will be another hair. So his head, when I was looking at the pictures, it's very straight on top. So from right here, come up a little ways. Just put a little dot there. We're like, okay, that's where his hair is gonna come out from. And it's just gonna pretty much be straight on top and then you can angle it more down. I know it looks really funny right now, but it's gonna look good. And this is that's like his crease line. And he has a little swoop and bring it in. So now I want you guys to erase the top of his, the dome. We can't see that anymore. It's gonna start coming together. You're like, oh, I totally see it now. So he's got extra hair, bring it down to his ear. You can make it go over his ear because he's kind of has thicker hair. When they did the Goblet of Fire, <laughs> They all had bushy hair. It actually drove me a little crazy because um, Ron and Harry, they look like little hobos because their hairs were so long. Some people like that, that, that little hair, but I like the clean cut look. So these are his hair. It's going over the ears a little bit and then we can put just the ear in there. And this hair is gonna come, you can have it come all the way down if you want. You know what, this one, I had it come underneath, but I think I'm gonna bring it out a little bit. 
come in and then have his hair behind like that. Okay, that looks good. Now for his neck, I'm getting a fairly thick neck. And I'm gonna show you how I did the body. So what you're gonna do, you give it some like, when you do shoulders slightly, um, make them come down so they're not straight across. Now I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna show you the body I put in there. I'm just putting in where I'm gonna put the waist. This is so I can see the body proportions. And then if I wanna put the legs in there. And so you kinda of can see how it's separated, okay? You don't have to do that part, but I'm just showing you how I did it. And then the feet going down there. Okay, and then for the arms, I'm just doing a sketch of what it would look like. I do big ovals. This is how I would do it. And then his hand. Same thing right here. We got one oval, two oval, and then he's got his hand in there. Okay, super. I don't know if I made the arms long enough, but that's okay. Okay, so now you kind of have a rough draft of where the body is. So we can put his collar in here. Double collar. And I love how he's wearing the Hufflepuff um, colors. So right, let's erase. We don't need this in there. That just showed me where he is. Okay. So let's make his shirt not so jagged. Then you want to bring it across. And then his shirt comes in. Okay. Then we're gonna have a line right down the middle because that's the his color, yellow and black. And now we can make where his elbow is. So it's gonna come out, make his elbow, bring in. Okay, same thing on this side, down, out. So now you can erase inside there. So in 2004, uh, a long time ago, there was a movie, it's called Vanity Fair. And this actor who played Cedric, his name is Robert Pattinson and he was in a Reef Witherspoon movie called Vanity Fair. He was the son, and he went to the premiere, and guess what? They had cut him out of the whole movie, all of his scenes that he did, so he didn't even get to see himself on screen. That was one of his first big roles, and the casting director that cast him felt so bad that she said, hey, why don't you like come and audition for this other show that I'm casting? And it was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And so he came in to audition for that with some other big names. Okay, so this part right here, make this more rounded. And then for his, we just made his hands gripped like that. I don't know what's on my hand. Okay, come out here and you can make it a little jaggedy. He's gonna be holding his wand in this hand. Anyway, so they said, hey, come out. And some big names, like the guy that played Superman auditioned, um, but he, Robert Patterson was the first one to audition for um, the Goblet of the Fire, and other people did. Like the one that played in Superman in the DC Comics, he tried out for it, but they thought, oh, you're a little too old for that. So I just made his wand, he's like gripping his wand. So you're just gonna make it like that and then you can erase in there. And they auditioned a lot of people and uh, Robert Patterson got the role because they thought he was the right age and he kind of played the part, which is pretty exciting. That was his first big role. Okay, so now we're gonna do his legs. So we're just gonna bring him down and he has that stripe on the side. Okay, after I Sharpie, I've got even more amazing fun facts that you're gonna wanna hear about when I'm coloring. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing the stripes on the side. If you want to give this a little bit more definition, you can make it come in a little bit. If you want to make it look like there's like a knee in here, you got pretty loose pants on. And for his feet, um, we're just going to bring out, down on the side, bring in and around, and then you give it a second layer here. Same thing over here. All right, so what I used is I used the Ultra Fine Sharpie. You can get this at the grocery store or Michaels or even CVS or anything like that. They're just the Ultra Fine and when you're doing smaller detail, it's gonna make life so much easier. So let's do that. Now 
I'm going to double Sharpie around the outside and color in his pants. Okay, don't you absolutely hate it when you're racing and then you crinkle the paper? Oh, that drives me bananas. Okay, so let's get out your pencils. Um, so I'm gonna start with the peach skin color. So Cedric was the only main Hufflepuff student in the series. I mean, other students are mentioned, but um, Cedric is the only character that made a real impact. So he was a very significant Hufflepuff. And there was, some people say, like only 16% of people surveyed wanted to be in Hufflepuff, uh, but a lot of people are, like half my family is Hufflepuff. But now they like love it. They're like, yeah, Hufflepuff. Um, but when they first heard it, they're like, oh, Hufflepuff. But then you think, hey, Cedric is in Hufflepuff. So you gotta be cool. I think Hufflepuff have more of a personality of just being kind and they're just, um, just sweet and kind. That's more of a Hufflepuff. Gentle, gentle souls, not a bad thing. I know some people are like, yeah, Slytherin. Mm, I don't know, I don't wanna be Slytherin. Okay, so this is the peach color. And now we're gonna get out our tan. And of course, underneath the eyebrows, for sure, for sure, go around the eyes. And under the nose. And uh, way under the chin, like press really hard under the chin and around it. Give it a shadow, a little bit up here, shadow. In the ears, always in the ears, shadows. All right, go around the base of the chin. Now I'll just get a touch of pink. He always had looked like he had like rosy cheeks. Um, always. And that's his character. When he played Twilight, they had to like put makeup all over him and cover up his skin because he had to be a vampire and be completely pale. Um, but he actually has rosy cheeks. Put a little bit on his lips, maybe a touch on his nose. That looks great. All right, so we're gonna get out the brown. Let's get his eyebrows in there. His awesome eyebrows. So, so Robert Patterson learned, oh, how to scuba dive um, before he did the second task because they were with the mermaids under the water. If you want, just put a touch of brown in his eyes, not much. His, you don't need much in there. And then we're going to do, we're not gonna do all of it this brown because we're gonna get lighter. We're gonna make an ombre because he has like a sun-kissed hair a little bit. And Twilight had like dark hair because he had to look pale. So I'm just going along the edge with this, just the regular brown, and then we're gonna come in with a warmer brown. But this is just to get the edges. Um, Cause they had to, of course, underwater scene with the mermaids and such. Um, so he had to get comfortable. So scuba, scuba diving. I've only been snorkeling. I've never been scuba diving. Okay, so let's get out the, this is that light brown. So the rest is gonna be light brown except for the tips. We're gonna make them a little bit more blonde so we can color it all in. And you know, we all know that Cho, Cho um, had a crush. They kind of had a relationship together. And he, she was very sad when he died. She cried a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. When you're young and then you get your heart broken, you think it's the end of the world. I'm just letting you guys all know it's not the end of the world. 
even though you feel like it at the time, yes, even I went through all that where you think life cannot continue, it's the end of the world. Okay, you know what? It does continue and life gets better. So, okay. Oh, his wand, I did the light brown. And that's all you need of that one. And then now I'm just doing a touch of yellow just on the tips to give it a little warmth. So JK Rowling's actually was heartbroken when she had to kill off Cedric in her book. She really was. She, she actually is very sad every time she'd mourn for those that she'd have to kill off, even though she needed to know that it had to be part of the story. It just made her sad. Do this with the golden yellow, do his arms. And, but when she, um, cause she, she thought, well, Cedric was, he was kind, chivalrous, good friend. He just was like the sweet guy, you know, go to this side. But it served, a, she, this is what um, J.K. Rowling said, it served a turning point in the book and it served as a major purpose. So it needed to be done. So we're coloring that and then his strip is the golden yellow. Even though nobody wanted him to die, but everybody was like, oh. Realizing that um, most realized, let me put a little yellow in here. Got he who must not be named was back. Oh, and black. Black's my last of the last here. Oh, I also have a little bit of red in here. This is just like a makeshift of what the badge is. It's very intricate and then a touch of green, but I thought that just kind of symbolized what we need. And then we need black. And then the rest is going to be black. And, ooh, oh gosh, I love this character, Ollivander. You guys know who Ollivander is. I need to draw him. Oh, yes. Um, Ollivander, uh, he was that wand, the wand, uh, he sold all the wands in Diagon Alley. And um, he said about Cedric's wand, it was made of ash and uh, unicorn hair. And he called it pleasantly springy. That's kind of a nice thing. Oh, your wand is pleasantly springy with his cute English accent. Who wouldn't want an English accent, right? Okay, so I didn't give it a color in the background. You can if you want, I did not. I guess green would look cool because he did. He was in the maids. You kind of can picture him like in the, the hedge maze. So I'm just doing black for his feet and then we will be done. And hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.